How can we get a tiny laser etching machine to work on glass? Let's find out. The 1000 milliwatt coal meter laser etching machine is usually only good for things such as soft plastics, hard soft wood, paper, or cardboard. Uh, but today we're going to try to get it to etch onto glass. And in order to do that, we're going to need a few special tools. Uh, we're going to take some nail polish. I'm going to use some 100% pure acetone uh, nail polish remover. And we'll also need some Armor Edge glass etching cream. That's the secret weapon here. While this laser etching machine won't etch on glass directly, it will blast through nail polish. So I'm using this dark colored nail polish you can get anywhere and putting a thin but liberal coat where I want the etching to take place, giving it plenty of space on the side so that when I apply my armor etch cream later, any drips uh, will have less of a chance eating at the glass where I don't want it to eat at the glass. Once we've done that, we place the glass into the laser etching machine, making sure that we put the small end at the back. Um, otherwise, you can see the large end gets in the way of the machinery and uh, the etching won't work properly. So I turn it around here and put it in like this. And once it's fixed into place, I like to use a little scotch tape to help hold it down. It um, gives me a little more control over where it's sitting than just the rubber bands, especially when it's something that's uh, round, like a glass. And then we start etching. I made sure here to rotate my artwork 180 degrees um, so that it would match up with the glass properly since I have the glass in upside down. The first time I did it, I did not do this, but I caught it early enough that I pulled the glass out, added a little nail polish over what had already burned, and started it over again. see here how easily the laser etches away at the nail polish. Do this in a well-ventilated area because you probably don't want to breathe these nail polish fumes. They could be toxic. Once you're done, just pull the glass out of the laser etching machine. And you'll see there but the design gets etched right in. All we have to do now is apply the Armor Etch glass etching cream. And I do this with a wooden stick. I just stir it up good and then apply just a little right where it needs to go. And I let this one sit for about 30 minutes. came back, checked on it a couple more times, made sure that there were no drips running. And then after 30 minutes, I gently wiped the etching cream off of the glass. I say gently because you will wipe away some of the nail polish if you're not careful. And then I wash the etching cream off with a little soap and water. Then using the 100% pure acetone and half of a cotton ball, I just wipe that nail polish right off. It comes off super easy. And then a clean cotton ball to finish up. And then 
back to the sink for one more nice wash. Dried it up, and you can see here, perfect glass etching using a laser etching machine.